coach Neelu is back <laughs> with another live session. Today I wanted to talk about um, three different ways you can uh, convert existing customers into repeat clients. We'll give people a couple of minutes to join. In the meantime, could you guys tell me whether you can see me, hear me, fine. Let me know where you're joining from, which city. Drop some hearts, some engagement for my live session so that people can, more people can get to see the live. Hi, Srishti. Hi, Hanan. Say hello in the comments, please. So three ways to convert existing clients into repeat customers. There's a particular reason why I wanted to do this live. Because what I've noticed is, um, thank you so much, Divya. What I've noticed is that a lot of times people, um, as in business owners, we get so caught up on getting new clients or um, uh, yeah, new followers, new clients, uh, and all of that, we completely forget that our existing pool of clients itself can be a good place to get some sales from. Um, there's something called Customer Acquisition Cost, CAC. Um, and this differs from industry to industry, uh, niche to niche, product to product, service to service, you get the drill. Um, basically, what this cost calculates is how much you had to spend to get a customer. And this spending can involve, or like can include or should include, the time and money you're spending on creating content, um, where all are you marketing and what are the different marketing activities that you're doing, how much is it costing you. And all of that combined uh, comes the customer acquisition cost. So acquiring one customer can uh, involve a lot of time, money and energy, which means we should not we should we shouldn't just uh, go looking for new clients again and again yes we should do that but we shouldn't stop there we should reach out to our existing clients as well and try and get some sales from them so three methods i'm going to talk about today um those of you who are joining now thank you so much for being here uh, let me know which city you're joining from which town city you're joining from if you want to say what kind of business that you own or manage i would love to hear that as well do leave some heart emojis or hearts for the live session so that more people get to see okay so three things you can do number one is obviously giving really really good um, customer service this sounds so simple and yet it's something that a lot of us overlook as consumers itself okay like put in put yourself in the shoe of a consumer um, like when you are going to purchase something from someone what are some of the things that you don't like doing or sorry what are some of the things that you um, did not like about a particular business, what was it that the business did or didn't do that bothers you or bothered you as a uh, paying customer. Uh, for example, we sometimes we walk into a clothing store and instead of getting a happy salesman, we get a very grumpy fellow who doesn't want to show us stuff and we have to keep asking him over and over again to pull out a sari or a salva kameez or something from here and there. Right? Sometimes we place orders uh, on online stores and then we don't get what we actually ordered for. There is like a massive difference in what is shown on the website and what we get in hand. And then we have to write to them, we have to put in a return request or a refund request. And good companies are very prompt, good companies uh, have great return policies, but some companies will take you to hell and back to get something returned or replaced right so make sure you as a business owner is giving exemplary customer service happy customers will not just come back to you again and again to purchase something 
but they will also tell other people about you so the chances of them referring you to somebody else or leaving really good reviews or feedback on your google page or instagram page etc are very high when you offer very good customer service be prompt in replying to messages be courteous or uh, use respectful polite language um what else mm. make sure that you deliver the product or service that you have committed or that you are getting paid for on time and you are not uh, creating unnecessary delays um also ask for feedback always ask for feedback what is it that they liked about you or what is it that they didn't like about you what are the things that um that your client or customer feels that can be improved upon and then make sure that you are actually taking in the feedback wherever possible so these are some of the ways you can improve your customer service and then make sure that existing customers keep coming back for more i have i have a lot of clients who have taken one workshop from me and then have taken another workshop and then another workshop um simplest example is when i was teaching calligraphy workshops back in dubai uh whoever took the brush pen calligraphy initially i started teaching brush pen calligraphy workshop so whoever took that joined my watercolor lettering workshop later on when i started that and then again dip pen calligraphy workshop when i started that so when i started one uh, calligraphy workshop they joined me they loved the experience and then they came back again and again they referred me to other people and their friends uh, or family members attended my workshops as well same goes with my uh, shop pps uae same goes with nilu and co uh, we have clients who uh, signed only 3 months retainer in the beginning but now are in the 6th or 7th month because they are really happy with our services again with coaching programs people who loved my instagram workshop end up joining my um, coaching program like cpa or spk or people who loved my consultation end up joining my coaching program so uh, whenever you get someone inside the door you know li- uh, figuratively speaking whenever you get a new customer inside the door make sure that you are treating them well and serving them well so that they come back for more number that was number 1 the second thing that i wanted to talk about today uh is um, loyalty and rewards program uh i can see that a lot of new faces are joining in hi happy to have you here um i would love to know where you're joining from if you could tell me which city you're joining from your name or what is your business about um you know you can actually use the comment section on a live video like this to Uh, network and connect with other people it's a great way to expose your business to other people who are attending the live as well so leave a quick short intro or elevator pitch and connect with each other and also do leave some hearts so that my live gets better engagement and uh, more people join in hi rancila so yeah so the second thing you can do is to have a loyalty or rewards program now when we uh, talk about loyalty or rewards program we think about air miles or skywards wasn't it skywards by emirates or those kind of like big ass <laughs> corporates with big programs um but i am assuming that a lot of you are small businesses or micro businesses but you can still have these uh, programs or exclusive offers that are uh only for people who have already purchased for you so for example i purchase a home decor item from you today a month later or two months later you can send me a whatsapp message saying that hey since you have purchased something from me before i am running an exclusive sale for um customers like you and you can get a 20% discount or um you know some kind of um um some kind of benefit anything really that is simple and also easy to understand for your existing clients this is also a great way to uh, remind your existing clients about your products again and again so 
So that's the second thing. Um, before I go to the third point, I just want to remind you that my 12-month uh, mastermind called Elevate is open for registrations. Program officially starts on January 8th next year. Um, this is like the best time to join the mastermind because you uh, number one is the beta round, which means uh, it's a very discounted rate. And number two um, is the beginning of the year. We are all very motivated and uh, making goals and setting up our vision for the next year, uh, which means it's the best time to be inside a mastermind with other small business owners and uh, with, uh, with me as your coach guiding you throughout the year. Um, generally, I do 30 days, 90 days, three weeks, four weeks programs, but this is the first time I am doing a full-fledged one-year program, 12 months program, because I feel it will give you, not I feel, I believe that it will give you um, enough time to not just learn from me, but also implement everything that I am teaching you inside, uh, elevate, um, and you also get ample time to implement those things that you are learning from me while you get expert guidance on a week-to-week -week basis uh, through live coaching calls as well as through day-to-day uh, -day basis through support group. I also have some guest lectures uh, scheduled for Elevate. There is Harris from Harris & Co. Um, he's going to come in and talk to you about LinkedIn marketing. There is Emil who's going to talk to you about uh, or teach you uh, WhatsApp marketing. Um, then there is Akib, who is our in-house uh, paid ads, meta ads uh, manager at Nilo & Co. He is going to come in and give you a lecture on that. So um, it's not just me. I have other experts uh, scheduled to come in and give guest lectures as well. So there's going to be a lot of things happening in Elevate. I'll do another live session where I talk about those things in detail. Now let me go to the third point for today, which is upsell and cross-sell. Hello, I can see new faces joining in. Um, let me know where you're connecting from, which city, which town, what is it that you do as a business. Um, leave any hearts. If you have any questions, just put them in that little question sticker bubble. Um, or you can ask me at the end of the session and I'll get them answered. All right, so upsell and cross-sell. Um, you might have heard this term before, maybe not, but I'm pretty sure you have come across the method. Um, the best example I can give you is when we walk into a salon. Okay, <laughs> when we walk into a salon to, let's say, get a dandruff treatment. Recently, I walked into a salon to get dandruff treatment. Uh, I have a very itchy skull, thanks to all the stress <laughs> and the pollution in India. Uh, so every few months I go in and get get a treatment done and the lady was like uh, ma'am you should all you know uh, you should also get a haircut and I was like no but I'm trying to grow my hair I'm actually trying to grow my hair because I want it to look nicer with saris um, and the lady kept on asking I kept on saying no and in the end I didn't take it but generally speaking when we go to a salon for one service, the ladies there are pretty good. They are trained really well in this regard, by the way. They are pretty good at uh, either upgrading your service. So maybe you went to get a regular cleanup or a regular facial, but then they upgrade you to uh, gold facial or Shana's facial or something else, which is slightly more expensive. That is upsell. So it's the same service, but you are asking your customer whether they want a slight upgrade. Then there is cross-sell. Cross-sell is where you're going to um, sell something that is related. Uh, another, what is a good example? Okay, you walk into Birkenstock or you walk into Bata, any shoe showroom. You get a pair of shoes or sandals and you're at the counter, you're about to make the payment and you will see those little bottles, cleaners, shoe cleaners or shoe wax or some related product that goes with shoes and sandals. Could even be socks or wallets. 
So this is where the business is cross selling because you're already there, you're already buying. Um, and generally when salespeople like the salon ladies or the showroom salespeople are asking you to uh, buy something else along with something that you walked in for, um, you find it a little difficult to say no or they kind of sell you the benefit also. They're like, you're getting a pair of shoes anyway, so get a, a you know, shoe bags, it will make it easier for you to keep it clean. There won't be any orders or the smell. So they'll give you all these list of benefits and they'll entice you to buy something else. So that is cross-selling. And this is a great method to um, get people to buy from you, not just at that point in time, like when they're actually about to buy from you, but even later, you can send them WhatsApp messages, email, newsletters and whatnot to cross-sell your services. Um, if you are in a shop trying to get a mobile phone, then they they are like, you know what, why don't you get a cover or why don't you, uh, you know, put that little film thing on um, on your mobile so that your screen protected, so that your screen is protected and all of that. All that falls under upsell crossing. So this is the third method. Um, I used to do this a lot. I still do it a, uh, a lot. But the best example is again my calligraphy workshop. If you have attended any of those when I was back in Dubai, um, I was running those workshops while I had my store as well. So whoever attended the workshop would generally ask me, hey Nilo, I really like the calligraphy thing. Where can I get more of these pens? Or uh, where can I get more of these watercolors? And I would already be carrying those supplies with me. So they would, um, end up buying from me. So it wasn't just the workshop that I was selling. I end up making more money through the sales of supplies because they are already in that uh, state of mind to buy, right? So these are the three things that you can do to convert um, your existing customers to repeat customers or repeat clients. Do you guys have any questions that um, I can answer for you? Is there anything I can help you with today before I wrap up the live? The next live session will most probably be on building a freelance career um, using social media. Um, I also have other live sessions um, like coming up. I've been getting really good feedback about these sessions. Um, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Um, it's good to have you here watching the live as well as the replays. Um, if there is anything particular that you would like to talk, you would like me to talk about during these live sessions, just let me know in my DMs. I'll be more than happy to help if I can. I mean, if it's a topic that I can talk about. Um, but yeah, I've got building a freelance career using social media coming up. I've got something on pricing coming up. Uh, several things are lined up uh, thanks to Elevate being launched. Is there any question? I don't see any question in the question sticker or in the comments. So I'm assuming you guys don't have anything to ask. Anyway, it was lovely chatting with you. Thank you so much for joining. I will see you for the next live. Take care.